This is a video solution of question number B, Fibonacci crisis of core forces round 87 div 2. So in this question, we have to see, uh, we have two integers n and k, and uh, we have to give number of non-decreasing non-negative sequences, which looks like that the ith element is f of i minus 1 plus f of i minus 2 okay so this is like this is a fibonacci series but the first two terms may be different it, it can't be 0 to 1 it may be 0 to 1 or any number like a to b such that a is less than equal to b okay and uh, both a comma b is greater than equal to 0 now in this question we can see that the range of k means we have asked that what is the kth element means how many sequence exist how many sequence exist such that the kth element is equal to n in our this series okay this like uh, okay so i hope you have understood the question the question is very simple but little bit observation and uh, some constraint after sir, watching some constraint you can see you can understood where the question very easily okay. so the first observation is that that your sequence is non decreasing and non negative okay so the minimum element of the sequence means the minimum uh, the minimum sequence can be 0, 0, 0. The first two elements may be 0 and then after all 0, 0, 0. So if n equal to 0 and k is anything, the answer would be 1 because there exists only one sequence which have kth element 0, which is this. Okay. Now the next minimum would be 0, 1. Okay. So the minimum could be only 0 and 1. So the next minimum. So the next element will be 1, then 2, then 3, then 5, then 8. So this is first element, this is second, this is third, this is fourth, this is fifth, this is sixth, and this is seventh. And the next will be 13, and this is n. So we can see that, and after so on, that after sixth element means after after the sixth element, the k will be always smaller than n then a of k is the sequence for k greater than equal to 7 okay so we can have the condition as such that if k is greater than equal to 7 and then n is less than k then return 0 means this by this condition any sequence can't be exist okay so the first first observation is that okay. now my constraint is fallen down from k ten, equal to 10 raised to 9 to 10 raised to the power 5 or something or minimum okay so what i have done first of all the sequence can be starting from a b the next will be a plus b the next will be a plus 2b the next will be 2a plus 3b the next will be 3a plus 5b and the next will be 5a plus 8b and next will be 8a plus 13b and so on okay. so what i have done basically i want like let's say this is the kth element okay the kth element would, would be xa plus yb in this form the a and b are the are my first initial two terms okay so i have conditioned that xa plus yb is equal to n okay so what i can do that i will check on a means i will change my a and check the other condition now let's say like yb is equals to n minus x into a and uh, 
okay minus x into a and uh, to have my sequence the n minus x a modulo y should be equal to equal to zero and my n minus x a n minus x a by y which is equal to b should be greater than equal to a to fulfill my condition that a is less than equal to b by the given question okay so what i have done let's see the code to understand very easily my solution So what I have done, I have taken input and this is my initial condition that if k is greater than or equal to 7 and uh, k is greater than or equal to n, then simply return 0 because if this condition is not, uh, if this condition is fulfilled, then my no sequence can exist, okay. Now, what is this my dp? So I have done that a, b, a plus b. So I want this coefficient. So how can I find this coefficient? I have uh, pre-computed this coffee coefficient by my this dp array okay. what I have done basically that I have watched that my first three coefficient of a and b are 1 0 0 1 and 1 1 and then I have observed that observed the pattern that a b a plus b a plus 2 b that dp of i dot first represent my coefficient of a and dp of i dot second represent the coefficient of b at ith position okay at i plus one position okay now what i have done that dp of i dot first is equal to dp of i minus one dot second this i have observed from this that this come here and dp of i dot second is equals to dp of i minus that dp of i dot second is equal to dp of i minus one dot first plus dp of i minus one dot second so by observation i have uh, completed this dp and then and then this this is i have already pre-computed once and then this is my x the coefficient of a at kth position this is this k minus one because this is zero based indexing we have, the k is one based indexing so that's why i have done this and y will be dp of k minus one dot second then i have iterated it to one to n and check that z modulo y what is z this is n minus x into y okay. and uh, it should be divisible by y so it equal to 0 and z by y greater than equal to 0 it is obvious and z by y greater than equal to y i represents my coefficient of means my first position means this a okay this i represents this my a. and the z by y what is z by y z by y is nothing but it is equal to b so it should be greater than equal to i so then i am doing count plus plus and simply i have written so I hope you have get the question. If you have any doubt, you can comment in the comment section. I will definitely respond to it. Thank you so much.